Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about traveling and I'm going to tell you a few of my favorite tips that I hope will help you the next time you travel. And just take whatever works for you, I know we're all different and you probably know a lot of these things, but just in case, here's a few reminders. All right, the first thing you want to do is start about two weeks before your trip begins. Go to your airline website and make sure that your carry-on luggage is allowed and the measurements are correct. The next thing you want to do is calendar all your activities. So for example, if you're going on a four day trip and maybe the first day, obviously you're going to be traveling, but that night you're going to go out with your sister or maybe meet with your in-laws. You might want to take a pair of jeans for that and um, a cute little t-shirt, a leather jacket and a scarf. So that will be your first evening. The next day, maybe you're going to go to a meeting. So you'll need a little black dress, a pretty jacket to go with it, some heels, some jewelry, that type of thing. So plan out all your activities and what you want to wear for each thing, including your shoes, your jewelry, your scarves, your belts, everything that you're going to need. The next thing you want to do is uh, plan to repeat things if you're going to be on a long visit and you don't have enough room to pack something for every single day. Decide what things you're going to wear twice and make sure that you pack a little gentle soap for hand washing. Um, try on any of your clothes. If anything needs to be altered or taken to the cleaners, do that a couple weeks out so you have plenty of time to pick it up before your trip. And you want to polish your jewelry, clean your shoes. If you find that anything needs to be repaired two weeks out, you're still good to go. And also you want to see if your hotel or your ship has a hairdryer because if it doesn't, you need to bring one. Um, order euros at the bank if you want to go overseas. And also if you're going to another country and your bank is able to get you that money, get it ahead. Or then you don't have to get it at the airport or find an ATM when you get there. And then also plan a really cute outfit for traveling. Make sure it's comfy and something you'll feel good in when you get off the plane. I know it's easy and tempting to just wear yoga pants and a sweatshirt, but especially if somebody's meeting you, wear something cute so when they see you, they're like, oh, she looks like so much fun and they're really excited to see you. If you look kind of schleppy and tired, they may be like, is she okay? You know, I don't know. She doesn't usually look like this. so. Just kind of plan something fun for yourself and also what the people meeting you might like to see you wearing. All right, now a week before you want to pick up your cleaning, pick up your euros, you want to uh, go to the, the shoe place if you've gotten some of your shoes rehealed or anything like that and um, make the final decision on what you're going to be wearing. You want to lay it all out on your bed in outfits with the jewelry with the shoes and kind of set those things aside try not to wear them this week if you can or if you have to wear them you're gonna wash them quickly because you know those things need to go on your trip um, make appointments get your hair done get your nails done or color your hair at home make sure you give yourself a deep conditioning treatment use a facial, do your nails. I suggest a really light color with lots of top coat and then take that bottle of nail polish with you in case you get any chips. Um, you also want to check the makeup that you want to bring. I know for me, I like a lighter, more uh, natural makeup in the daytime, but I like darker colors, more intense colors for the evening. So make makeup is important to me and I don't like to get ready away from my own home when I really want to look nice. So if that's the case for you, if you have a special event coming up, take some things. You can go to the drugstore or um, I get this online at HSN. It's called M. Assam One Week Power Beauty Treatment. I use this a few days before and then during my trip. And it's little ampules. I've already used part of it, but little ampules that you use day and night and uh, it really makes my skin glow. And then I like to take like face masks or eye masks. This is a deep conditioner for my hair. And this is just like a little moisturizer sample. 
make sure you get travel size bottles and um, you can also buy travel size products if you want but just be aware that you're going to have to put things in baggies get those little quart size baggies if you need them and be all ready to go on your cosmetics so you have everything you need to make you feel pretty and the last thing is you want to get a gift for your hostess if you're staying with somebody and if you don't have time to buy it and wrap it and pack it ahead pick up a little something at the airport you want to take uh, some snacks and mints in your purse. Some airlines, or if you're traveling by bus or train, sometimes your mode of transportation isn't going to have a snack offered. It used to be you always got peanuts, you always got a soda, not so much anymore. So take a little something if you get hungry, and especially if you have kids or a husband who gets hungry, have some stuff in your purse or your tote bag that is going to kind of take care of you over the long haul so you don't arrive cranky and then you want to go to the bank and get some ones and fives for tips you want to get a little extra money and i like to pack my money kind of in different places i uh, will tuck an extra 20 in my bra or in my sock i do that it just makes me feel better i want some money in my purse cash and i want some maybe in one of my bags in a zipper compartment or something so nothing is all together if i lose one thing or something is stolen i have a backup and that just makes me feel more at ease all right now two or three days ahead of time you want to begin packing and you want to put your shoes in bags at the bottom of your luggage and then divide your outfit so you have at least one change of clothes in each bag if you're going for several days obviously the, mo the bigger portion of your bag is going to be in your roller bag but at least in your tote bag or your carry-on have a change of underwear a change of socks PJs and one simple outfit so if you're out of luck and your luggage gets lost you've got something to wear for a day or two and pack a steamer run out and get one at Target or Walmart if you don't have one unless you know the hotel has an iron and you won't be needing one. And then you wanna leave your bags open in your bedroom so you can toss in stuff as you think of it. Cause sometimes you, know, you might think, oh, I really like this lip gloss. I wanna take this for this outfit and you didn't pack it originally, just throw it in, your bag's open, it's ready to go. And then one or two days before, you wanna make sure that you gather all your electronics, your phone, your camera, your curlers, your flat iron, um, that you're going to be taking with you get the chargers that you need and have that all ready to go I know you may need to use your curlers and your flat irons But just kind of be aware that they need to go with and maybe leave the case on top of your bag So you don't forget to put the curling iron or the flat iron in it and put it in your bag at the last minute um, You want to put your cosmetics in the plastic baggies at this point transfer your products into those little teeny bottles if you're taking those and then also make sure you have a small bottle of contact solution. You pack your glasses, you pack your contacts. And if you need binoculars or something, if you're going hiking, make sure you get all those things, as well as your vitamins, your prescriptions, Tylenol, uh, Tums, whatever you need for your medicine cabinet while you're traveling. And you wanna drink a lot of water for a couple days before because I don't like to drink a lot of water on the plane. I know a lot of people do, but it's like I hate to have to get up and go to the bathroom all the time. So I try to hydrate myself ahead of time and then I feel comfortable on the plane and I can rehydrate when I get off the plane. Confirm your flights, confirm your hotel, and if you need to call a shuttle to get you to the airport, be sure you do that a day or two ahead. And then the day of, you um, want to go early. That's my best advice. So you feel calm and be relaxed. But if you are a single woman traveling alone, be alert, look around. Don't kind of like, even if you're tired, appear droopy and kind of confused. You wanna walk with purpose. You wanna have good posture. And even if you're totally lost, you wanna act like you know where you're going. So anybody who might be observing you realizes you look like a woman who knows where you're going probably has somebody waiting for you and is maybe not the type of sort of easy target that they might be looking for so i hope you have a wonderful trip i'm so happy to share these tips with you i hope they help um, have a great vacation wherever you're going 
and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.